This channel is supported by Truefire. Truefire is an online library of lessons from some of my favorite players. There's thousands of lessons on there. You can use the promo code JNC40 to get 40% off of any of their courses. Okay, so with last week there was this Big Sky plugin that came out and uh, I was really impressed with some of the sounds from it, of course. The Strymon uh, reverb tones in particular and reverb algorithms are beautiful, but the, the plugin itself didn't work very well for me on my machine. So I wanted to kind of dig into a couple of things which I think can get us in that ballpark within the Helix world because there are some really, really cool reverbs in there. Um, that you may or may not be aware of in particular the new dynamic uh, plate stuff is great so um, first of all uh, this particle reverb was uh, programmed by the chap who went on to start Meris right I think his name is Angelo um, this one is a bit of an old favorite of mine <laughs> But if I had one wish, it would be that there was some more ways to control like the modulation in it. So the modulation in the tail, you can't actually control. But here is where you find that is in the legacy reverb section at the very bottom. And I think it's one of the coolest sounds in the Helix. And obviously Dwell controls the length of how long this thing happens for. So maybe if we keep the mix higher but the dwell lower. And essentially as you turn the condition up this turns into a bit of a wackier thing that starts to kind of go up in pitch. So I think it's most usable on stable condition. If we turn the dwell way down. Okay, so what, what I've just discovered is that what this is actually doing, this is more like smear than anything else. So this is essentially, you can hear 
that that's basically something like the Meris Polymoon, right? It's a it's a, a delay with smeared repeats. So what I could do, if I wanted to really bring that out, is, I guess, put it onto path B, and then kind of, uh, let's go put a compressor on. Stereo compressor, uh, action B, and then boost the level. And then as we increase this dwell, what we're getting is more diffused tails, right? And more modulation. So that's definitely one that I think is worth taking a look at. The other one, if you're interested in this sort of thing, the dynamic plate. Now, with all of these dynamic uh, reverbs, which were programmed by a chap from Victoria DSP called Norm, if you, so the default settings for this will be two seconds decay. <laughs> And that's not particularly um, characterful, you know, it's just a, a standard plate reverb. But you see that you've actually got a lot of latitude to increase the decay and make really... really much longer delays, uh, um, reverb, sorry. And sort of the longer you push this decay, the, the more kind of The modulation part of this is a kind of a bit subtle here, if, if anything, but so combining something like the dynamic plate with the particle reverb could get us some uh, results. Let's see what happens if we do this now.
This is something I've never tried before, but what if we had like a wah? We could do something to create something like that choir effect, right? So there's just a couple of ideas for maybe how you could um, dial in something a little bit close-ish maybe to some of the tones that you can get out of that what I think is still a legendary pedal um, but you know we can do something in that realm with tools that we have in Helix. I hope that was vaguely interesting. So for me, that dynamic plate, the damping will kind of influence how much high end is let into the reverb tank and give it a bit more metallic sound if you open it all the way up, like so. But it's just some really, really cool things that you can do with the Helix. It's, it's better than it's ever been for reverbs, I think. I'll catch you in another video soon, and uh, cheers for now. Let me know if you want me to drop these two presets into the folder for you. Cheers.